After a busy day on the river with friends, Mole lies on some cool dock leaves in Ratty's garden, listening to the willow warbler, when he hears Ratty return from visiting Otter. Ratty tells Mole how Otter's son has been missing for days, and Otter is very anxious. Young Portly hasn't learned to swim very well yet, and a lot of water is coming down the weir. The otters have searched high and low. They have asked every animal for miles around. Some have searched day and night. Otto goes to the ford every night and watches as he thinks Portly might make for the place he is so fond of. The friends feel they must do something, so they get the boat out and row upstream. Past a farm, Landing on a silent silver riverbank. The boat tied up to a willow tree. They patiently explore the hedges, the hollow trees, the runnels and rivulets. with their little culverts, the ditches, and dry waterways. Embarking again, they continue upstream with the moon serene and detached in a cloudless sky. Suddenly, they are transfixed by an intoxicating piping melody and Mole rows gently towards it. Feeling the music and call is for them, they take a backwater branching off to one side and the creeping tide of light grows and grows. Purple loose strife fringes the banks, vivid with roses, odorous meadow sweet and riotous willow herb. They reach an island edged with willow, silver birch and alder. Through turbulent water they silently land. push through the scented herbage to level ground. And suddenly feel a great awe. Could this be the friend and helper of the wild, Pan, half man, half goat? Protecting the baby otter, Perhaps the moon, as in a spell they forget what they have seen.
and feel the joy of finding the little otter. Ratty runs to the slumbering portly. while Mole stands still a moment as one awakened from a beautiful dream. Portly wakes with a joyous squeak and wriggles with pleasure at the sight of his father's friends, but then starts to hunt in a circle for something he barely remembers. At last he gives up and cries bitterly. Mole runs quickly to comfort the little animal. Ratty looks at certain hoof prints in the sand. Some great animal has been here, he murmurs thoughtfully. Come along, Ratty, calls Mole. Think of poor Otter waiting by the ford. They accompany Portly to the waterside and settle him in the boat. Reaching the main river again, they turn upstream to the place where Otter is keeping his lonely vigil. Approaching the ford, they lift Portly onto the towpath, give him his marching orders with a friendly pat, watch the happy reunion. Mole turns the boat and lets the full stream bear them home. I feel strangely tired, says Mole, as if something very exciting but strangely terrible is just over. Or, says Rat, something splendid and beautiful. Hearing faint music and words in the reeds, they row nearer. You shall look on my power at the helping hour, but then you shall forget. Helper and healer I cheer, small waifs in the woodland wet, strays I find in it, Wounds I bind in it, bidding them all forget. But what do the words mean? asked the wandering mole. But no answer came. The weary rat was fast asleep.